Margot, you know we've been friends for years and sometimes I don't think you know us at all. Well, perhaps I know you too well. Rubbish. I mean, we all know that Tom's stupid, but he's not a tyrant. Right! <laughs> then why is his word always law? Oh, it isn't it just that he happens to be right about this horse. Very well, dear. That's the illusion you choose to cling on to. I'll just take my hat and not say another word. I will say this, Tom. <laughs> the day of the woman is coming. Well, with the cavalry from the pony club on their side, I don't know how they can lose. <laughs> you bully. <laughs> Charge! <laughs> Good old Margot. <laughs> she just doesn't understand that she loves. <laughs> she can't see that sometimes you are capable of being totally unfeminine. <laughs> Thanks. Ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, no, no, well, I, I didn't mean unfeminine. I mean, you're very feminine, Barbara. Oh, you, you're ever so sexy, honestly, you are. You are. Yeah, there you are, you see, you can do it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> about it. Hand out cigars. <laughs> but you see, we can't get a light up to this time. We wonder if we could borrow your light, the one that you use in the garage, the one with the long uh, lead. Yeah, all right, go on. Ever thought of moving? <laughs> New Zealand's a nice long way away. <laughs> go on, go on, go on, good girl, go on, go on. Go on, good girl, good girl. Five. Oh, isn't it wonderful, isn't it marvellous, Jerry? Yes, I've always wanted to stand at a pigsty in the middle of the night. <laughs> Will you hold that light steady? I'm trying to see what I'm standing in. <laughs> How can that matter at a time like this? Oh, no, no, no. Of course, they're just an old pair of very expensive slippers, that's all. Well, let me see, Thomas. You all right? Yeah, fine. No problem. Go on, girl. Go on. Good girl. Good girl. That's a good girl. Six. Six. <laughs> Congratulations. Don't you ever tell me to shut up again, Jerry. Well, I haven't got X-ray eyes, have I? I can't see through a door. Hold the light still. And I will thank you not to go out in the middle of the night and leave the front door open. Anything could have happened. Yes, you could have got up and shut it. <laughs> and found myself struggling with some lecherous minicab driver. Look, look, you'll be struggling with me if you don't shut up. The main event is going on in here. Look, there's another one on the way. Oh, come and look, Margaret, quick. It's beautiful. Certainly not. That sort of thing makes me faint. Well, don't faint in here, for God's sake. Yes, go on, go on. Seven. Seven. Look, surely seven is enough. <laughs> yes, you're quite right, Margot. Pinky, Margot says seven's enough. <laughs> let me see, Tom, let me see. Oh, look. They're feeding. Yeah, yeah. Hold on, one comes unplugged. <laughs> That's but it's marvellous, isn't it, isn't it marvellous? I read 250 pages on piggery midwifery. No, Pinky can't read a word, so she just gets on with it. Uh, I could never have imagined this a year ago. No, last year the only thing we were breeding was discontent. If you don't stop eulogising, I'd like to go back to bed. Oh, yeah, right, Jerry, thanks a lot. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry, Margot. Pinky's disobeying you. She's having another one. This is rapidly becoming disgusting. <laughs> Yes, good. That's it. That's right. Good. Oh, dear. What? What? Let me see. What? Oh, no. Oh, that's not right. What isn't? That little one, that last one, it's hardly moving. It's just lying there. I'm afraid it's a runt. Oh, very Anglo-Saxon. <laughs> Quiet, Jerry. Well, do something. Tom? Well, what do you want me to do? Inflate it with a bicycle pump? <laughs> I know it's rotten, but this sort of thing happens. It says so in the book. You sometimes get a runt in the litter. It's undersized, weak and excess, I'm afraid. Survival of the fittest. Yes, what are you going to do about it? Well, nothing. You just let them die. You just let them die? Don't do that. It's a bit clinical, isn't it? No, it's common sense. Tom! Now, Barbara, listen. Now, listen. Barbara, it is common sense. This is our livelihood, not a hobby. It may not be a very palatable fact. It's just not worth fighting a losing battle trying to keep it alive. It's just not efficient. 
Damn your efficiency! It's not my efficiency. Yes, it is your efficiency. It is becoming your god. And if you're going to turn into the kind of person that's going to let a little creature like that die just because it's efficient, then you can stuff it. At last. <laughs> the worm turns. Be quiet, Margot! Yes. <laughs> can I use your phone? Certainly, Barbara, yes. Well, I... You can see I'm right, surely. <laughs> I am right. <laughs> Who are you phoning? The vet. Oh. He's out on a call. Won't be able to get here for two hours at least. That's going to be too late, isn't it? Well, what about the RSPCA or the Blue Cross? Mm. Same problem. Right. We're going to need milk, brandy, something warm to wrap him in. Oh, Tom. <laughs> and something to help his breathing. Now, what? Oxygen. Well, where do you get oxygen? The hospital. It's worth a go. Try the hospital. Right. Right. Jerry, come along. Why me? You've got the car. All right. <laughs> Marco, don't just tan there. Something warm, milk and brandy. Yes. Oi! <laughs> Tom. What? Remy Martin or Hein Viesse. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. speed you were doing, sir? Yes, 60 miles an hour. And what is the speed limit in this area, sir? 30. Sir, you admit you were speeding. What a brilliant deduction. <laughs> Can I see your driving license, please, sir? Look, please. Just one moment, miss. Misses, actually. Your wife, sir? No, somebody else's. <laughs> oh. 60 miles an hour with somebody else's wife at 3 o'clock in the morning and in your pyjamas. Doesn't look too rosy, does it, sir? Oh, look, please, we're in ever such a hurry. Yes, I dare say you are, miss. <laughs> look, get on with it, will you? I mean, if you're going to book me, book me. If not, get out of my way. Right. This goes down in the big book, this does. Oh, look, Constable, we're in ever such a hurry. We've got to get to the hospital. It's urgent. Hospital? Yes, you see, I, I know it sounds unlikely, but our pig's just had a litter. And there's this little tiny runt, and if we don't get any oxygen for him, he's going to die. Little piglet, is it? What have you told us before? Well, if I'd started bandying words like pig about in front of a constable. <laughs> yeah, sure. See what you mean. Right, come with me. Where to? The hospital, of course. I'll go ahead, clear the way, you put your foot down. Always wanted to do a mercy dash, never done one before. 